every day. You go through the same old uh, pattern. You come on the streets looking for drugs, getting drunk, prostituting yourself. And every day, you become more angry, more broken, more hurt. And then you wonder about yourself. Does God still love me? Does God still care about me? Does God still care about me? You feel so broken. That you feel there's nothing to live for. I'm here to tell you today Jesus Christ understands the broken He was rejected He was broken His friends were former prostitutes Jesus' friends were former adulterers. Jesus' friends were former thieves. Jesus' friends were broken people. We're coming to tell you today that Jesus understands you. Even if no one else does. This is the mercy of God. Is that God so loved the world that regardless of what you've done, there is hope for your life. God is not afraid of you. Society might reject you, but Jesus doesn't reject you. You might feel that you're not, you won't fit in with everybody else. But you fit in with Jesus. All of us walking on the street have a past. Some of us were former prostitutes. Some of us were former drug dealers. Some of us were former thieves. Some of us have murdered people. Some of us have aborted our baby. But we found hope in Jesus. We found mercy in Jesus. I know you might feel. You've sinned too much. There's no hope for my life. But Jesus says otherwise. Jesus says there's hope for your life. You can start again. Today is your day. Today is the day of salvation. If you would accept Jesus. Jesus died for your sins. Jesus came into the world while we were sinners. Christ died for you. This message is for those who know they're sinners but want the mercy of God. God so loved the world. He loves the people at the Chinese restaurant. God loves you. Jesus died for you. Don't say he doesn't love you. You might curse me. But I bless you. You might say don't preach to me. But God is saying I love you. This message is for you. You might feel. That God doesn't see your pain. But God knows all about it. This message is for you. Don't curse Jesus. Don't curse Jesus. You might feel. 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 You
The gospel means good news. God has good news for you. I see you put up the middle finger. But why curse Jesus? When Jesus died for you. You see, this is what happens when we forget about God. We curse God. We curse Jesus. We think that Jesus doesn't love us. I don't know what happened to some of you. That you would curse the Lord. But that's why Jesus died for you. He became a curse for you. So that you can be delivered from your curse. Anybody that's cursing is under a curse. That's why we bless you. To set you free from your curse. To set you free from your pain. If you're under a curse today, you can be set free. The blood of Jesus can set you free. Whoever the Son sets free is truly free.